North Carolina is the 28th most extensive and the 9th most populous of the U.S. states. The state is divided into 100 counties. The capital is Raleigh, which is located in the Research Triangle. The most populous municipality is Charlotte, which is the second largest banking center in the United States after the city of New York. The state has a wide range of elevations, from sea level on the coast to 6,684 feet at Mount Mitchell, the highest point in North America east of the Mississippi River. The climate of the coastal plains is strongly influenced by the Atlantic Ocean. Most of the state falls in the humid subtropical climate zone. More than 300 miles from the coast, the western, mountainous part of the state has a subtropical highland climate. Most people think of California when they hear about earthquakes. But North Carolina has a history with quakes, too. Earthquakes are not considered a serious threat by many North Carolinians, although dozens of earthquakes have been recorded in the state since 1755. The modern theory of plate tectonics holds that the surface of the Earth, or lithosphere, is composed of a dozen or so rigid plates moving slowly on a much softer layer of mantle, known as the asthenosphere. The friction between these plates is immense, and as they move against one another they sometimes get stuck. Stress builds up, and when the plates are finally released an earthquake results. Interestingly, North Carolina falls within an interplate zone, an area that should, according to the theory of plate tectonics, remain relatively free of earthquakes. As a consequence, the more than two centuries of earthquake activity observed in North Carolina more than 80 events by most accounts are not easy for students of the plate tectonics theory to explain. Certain areas of the state, such as the Blue Ridge Escarpment, are apparently more seismic than others, although active faults have proven difficult to identify. Fortunately, most of the state's earthquakes have been fairly mild, causing little if any damage. Had they been measured, they likely would have registered somewhere between 2.0 and 3.0 on the Richter scale. The most serious quake to affect North Carolina in modern times was the Great Charleston, South Carolina, quake of the 31st of August 1886. Estimates have placed it at 7.7 on the Richter scale, although it would have registered much more weakly in North Carolina. It was felt throughout the state toppling numerous chimneys and cracking walls but causing no deaths or injuries. The very strong New Madrid, Mo, quakes of 1811 and 1812 were also felt throughout North Carolina. The most important earthquakes to have epicenters within the borders of North Carolina were those of the 21st of February 1916, the 20th of October 1924, and the 2nd of November 1928. Their effects were concentrated in western North Carolina, and no significant damage was reported. North Carolina's most notorious earthquakes also took place in the western part of the state. From February through June 1874 the present-day Lake Lure area was rocked by a series of as many as 100 mild shocks. Their epicenter was a mountain that later came to be known as Rumbling Bald Mountain. Although mild in intensity, the quakes received national attention. Some even speculated that North Carolina had an active volcano on its hands, although nothing materialized. A seismograph has been in place at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill since 1953, and earthquake activity in the state has been continuously recorded ever since. Research continues on the seismicity of the region, especially as pertains to the Charleston events of 1886. The current understanding of earthquake phenomena in North Carolina does not preclude the possibility of a severe and unprecedented event causing serious damage and great loss of life. In 1988 Robert Ketter, director of the National Center for Earthquake Engineering Research at the State University of New York at Buffalo, predicted that a major earthquake would occur in the eastern United States by the year 2010, though little attention has been paid to earthquake-resistant buildings and preparedness in this area. The following is a historical account of notable recorded earthquakes in North Carolina. March 8, 1735. The first North Carolina earthquake on record hit near Bath. 1811 to 1812. The great earthquakes centered in the Mississippi Valley near New Madrid, Mo, were felt throughout North Carolina. 1874. Western North Carolina residents, particularly those in McDowell County, could feel the earth move about 75 times between February 10th and April 17th. 
January 18, 1884. An earthquake shook houses in Wilmington, rattling crockery off shelves. August 6, 1885. Reports of houses rocking violently and dishes rattling near Blowing Rock. August 31, 1886. A major earthquake near Charleston, South Carolina, caused about 60 deaths near the epicenter and widespread property damage. In North Carolina, there were reports of toppled chimneys, fallen plaster and cracked walls in Charlotte, Raleigh, Hillsborough, Elizabethtown, Henderson, Abbotsburg, Waynesville and Whiteville. January 1, 1913. Chimneys in Kings Mountain fell from a shock in Union County, South Carolina. This earthquake was felt in Raleigh, about 180 miles away. February 21, 1916. One of the largest earthquakes within North Carolina borders was centered near Asheville. Damage was limited to cracked plaster and falling crockery. July 8, 1926. A shock caused a broken water pipeline and cracked building foundations in southern Mitchell County. November 2, 1928. A tremor in Asheville created mild panic in a theater and caused damage in upper stories of buildings. March 5, 1958 – A shock occurred in the Wilmington area near the same place as the 1884 tremor. December 13, 1969. A minor earthquake with a sonic boom-like noise awakened many in Jackson County in the western part of the state. Rumbling noises were reported in North Carolina and South Carolina. June 4, 1998. A 3.2 magnitude quake shook Davidson, about 20 miles north of Charlotte. December 9, 2003. A magnitude 4.5 earthquake recorded about 30 miles west of Richmond, Virginia caused ripple effects in Raleigh and other parts of the Triangle. March 21, 2011. A magnitude 2.9 earthquake shook portions of four counties southeast of Charlotte, nearly two weeks after the 9.0 quake that devastated Japan. And that's it for this edition of the Earthquake Report. Make certain to tell us which state we should cover next. Feel free to post about anything that is on your mind though. Make certain to like, subscribe and share this video. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day. Stay safe.